Hey guys, wanted to show you something really cool today, unboxing the LS2 Valiant 2 modular helmet. And uh, I got the one that is in blackout uh, color scheme. And I know the original one comes with a white LS2 symbol here, it's super bright, has a lot of chrome around. I didn't really like that look. And uh, this is a really cool helmet, I wanted a modular helmet. But I didn't want one that where the chin bar sticks up on top of the helmet. And this one's really cool, if you guys haven't seen it, I'll show you. But more than that, I was really impressed with everything that came in the box. I didn't have to go buy anything separate. Everything here came as is. So when you open the box, I was super surprised to see a tinted visor already come in the box. That was exciting. First helmet I ever bought where I didn't have to go buy a tinted visor. Pin lock ready. Bag with something hard inside. Always need something like that. And this was surprising as well. I didn't know that it comes with a helmet backpack and it's perfect because it's in camo so no one will see it when you're riding your hog, your cruiser. You can still look cool because it'll blend in with whatever, I guess. Uh, so it comes with, with three bags actually. So it has, you know, in my opinion, this is the second best bag that it comes with. Um, you know, if I could rate them into three different tiers, it comes with this helmet backpack that I can use. Uh, this is the worst bag it comes in, is the actual helmet bag. It's not fitted or anything, but don't really need it if you're going to use the helmet bag. But the best bag that it comes with is this high-end, noise-canceling, super lush, uh, uh, I think this is silk or foam or something like that. Keeps the helmet nice and shiny, makes a really annoying noise when you scratch it or take it off the helmet and here it is the blackout LS2 Valiant 2 what was exciting about this is that the LS2 here is in matte black but this is a reflective material there's re reflective material all along the eye line here and so I was excited about this helmet because the LS1 uh, so the LS2 Valiant one, the chin bar was was protruding a lot. This one is way more low profile. It looks like a regular motorcycle helmet. And uh, the cool thing about these modulars is I can open it and have it go all the way back and use this as a three-quarter helmet. Uh, it looks kind of like a fighter pilot helmet, which is really cool, as opposed to having it stick out up here and catching the wind. Here is the drop-down visor, which... You know, that was really cool because I didn't need to go get a tinted visor because a lot of times I was riding and get stuck out at night with my tinted visor. Uh, but this one comes with the drop down. And so I thought, oh, I won't need it, but it comes with the visor already. And so another cool thing about this is actually when the face shield's down and you bring the chin bar around, it's going to actually open up the face shield like so. And there it is also already comes with a chin curtain which is really cool it's just really comfortable actually I'm a medium in this I'm a medium in showy and an extra small in HJC I don't know how that worked out but it has a ratcheting strap as well I'm just super excited to use this helmet it's summertime uh, I can have the chin bar up and still look like a regular helmet without it sticking up above my head like a cone head and I think this is the best color you can get is the blackout version and if you want a good value, I'd encourage you guys to go get that. I've had a lot of helmets, and this one's actually the one I'm most excited about. So thanks, guys, for checking in. Ride safe out there. Keep two wheels down.